Hi, my name's Lisa Holzel, and I'm on the creative team for Sean Petit for 2020 through 2021. And as usual, when I started this project, I had no idea what I was going to create, but I wanted to use a journal. And I love these tiny little stencils. Um, and I'm like, well, I'm going to use that. So I go through my stacks of stencils that I have, kind of just pick out what appeals to me at the moment, because I just never know what I'm going to do. And I picked out a few colors. Um, I really like the Lucas acrylic paint because it's just smooth like butter. So um, this, it looks black, but it's really um, a Payne's gray. And because the way I'm going to use it, I'm using an old hotel key card. So you could use gift cards, old credit cards, and I like scraping my paint on just because it dries faster and um, it just gives it a little bit of texture. And I'm not trying to be perfect. It's just kind of cover the edges and put a layer down um, without having to paint over the whole journal cover, even though it looks like that's what I'm doing. So um, I like the card because it um, dries really fast. So here's a lime green. I'm going to use it as a contrast color and doing it from a different direction. And then I decided I had a dry paintbrush there. I'm gonna just do some streaks and I really liked how it turned out. So these are like happy accidents. Um, I never know what I'm going to do. I just kind of just grab things that appeal to me. And as I was creating this journal, I didn't have a theme. I didn't know what I was going to do, but as I went along creating, it started to develop with me. Um, I like textures. I love textures in all my pieces that I create. And this is, I'm using a baby wipe. So now I'm pulling up the wet paint. I never wait for paint to dry. I really don't like waiting. <laughs> so, and this was a good process to use the wet wipes. And I just love how it looks maybe like a cobblestone or just little rocks, or I don't know, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna see something different than what I see. So I kind of went with it and just started thinking about um, the stencil with brave and strong. And as I started um, creating, it developed that what I'm going to do. And it's a gift for a friend of mine. And um, she's been diagnosed with cancer. So that is what this is, how this developed. And she loves layers. She's a fiber artist. So you'll see how I use that um, later in the video. And so I'm just, life, you know, gives us curveballs, um, little rocks to stumble, little pebbles. So this is what it's, this process is reminding me, is we go through layers and layers of life, and sometimes we don't realize we're in a thick of things, or we get a big old surprise, like my friend, um, She's a survivor and they came back um, who's suffering with cancer and she's dear sweetheart. And so as this was developing, um, I created, um, I was thinking ahead as I was creating all these different layers. And so now I'm doing a contrast color and I'm not looking for perfection. I like the messy look because that's how life is. We are messy. Our life is not perfect. It's not always clean. Even as much as we like to stay organized and clean, it's not going to happen. So I just go ahead and do the messy so I don't have to stress about it. Um, but I'm liking this orange kind of bright gold contrast of um, using the stencils in a different way. And so it's just adding more texture. And wait till you see when it comes off. It's like, wow. So 
and to me it's a journey anything that we do in life is a journey so just like this process of art and using Sean's um, stencils and what was I going to do with it how am I going to create um, a piece so I enjoy just going with it going with the flow and and then it will speak to me as it develops and I'm even using that alphabet stencil sideways um, you know because it's not something that's gonna need to be read but just something that um, just giving it little oomph to my journal book and the cover and as I went on I had an idea so I'm using those beautiful powerful words stencil um, stay strong you can do it keep going and this is where I truly thought of my friend and why this is going to be a gift for her and um, she likes a lot of layers and she loves sewing um, and needlework and thread so and she does a lot of altered books so I was trying to think how could I incorporate all of this so what I did is another contrasting color. I used a red paint and, and I'm using a different paper because so I'm going to cut them out and add it to the cover. So just more layers. Um, and then I wanted the words to pop so she can be strong and brave and keep going. Um, and as I add the colors, and I'm not worried if it's messy because I'm messy and you know I'm just blotting it on it's not again like perfection and you'll see how I correct that um, has has always has my process develops because I go with the flow I don't know what I'm going to do and oh man talk about like a, my own little journey with this project because I'm thinking of my girlfriend and I go wow this is made for her I didn't even plan it that it's for her so again uh, I don't wait for paint to dry so I'm gonna get my scissors and cut out the phrases I'm not gonna use them all um, I, I like I said I just you know let and see what I like so I start cutting them out as carefully as I can without smearing them because I can't wait but and as I'm cutting it I'm thinking what can I do to make those words pop because I really want them to stand out on the cover of the booklet so as I'm I actually will wait for them to dry so as I let after I cut them I did let them dry and I looked at those words and I go you know what I'm going to use the stencil again on my journal. So here it comes. And again, it's not to be able to read it. It's just adding more layers. Um, I'm about texture and layers and just a subtle way of um, incorporating those positive words on the cover. So I'm using the lime green that I initially used over the Payne's Gray. And now it's going to be a lot brighter. So I just love, and I'm just making it messy. There are going to be some places that are going to be thicker, some places that it's going to be faded, and even some areas that I'm not even going to have the full word showing. All done on purpose. This is purpose. Um, because it's just a background. And look at it. Oh my gosh. I just loved how that looked so I'm like all right I'm gonna keep going with what I'm doing and again not waiting for that side to dry and just because it's a background it's um, a texture so and just wait till you see this, this is I, I love this. this is it's like I almost got a little teary-eyed and I am um, because it's for my girlfriend and I want her to, to see when she grabs this journal to see something different. Um, when I put layers in there, you kind of just stare at it and go, oh, I didn't see this word or, oh, there's a word there. And 
so I like those subtleties. Um, look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? I, I really like how all of this worked out and how it layered. So now my words are dry. So I decided to use my fine, fine point um, micron pen because it doesn't smear. I love the micron pens. And this is like, I don't know, 0, 0.00 or triple zero. I'll have to look and maybe we can see it on the video. I'm not sure. But I'm using the stencil again to define the letters, to define the words that I want to use on the book like cover. So it's just another way to use these awesome tools. Ooh, I think it's 005 on my pen. So I want her to be able to see some words like stay strong, keep going, um, be brave, because she's going through a journey that I don't know about. And maybe she wants to write words or draw pictures or use whatever um, she wants in this booklet. This is a blank booklet and she, you can do it. Um, and so can you. You can get through any obstacles that we are given. Um, I myself suffer from lupus and fibromyalgia and IBS and ooh, look there was a blooper in there and this is how I began um, to be an artist. I started in 2017 with a journal because I was diagnosed and suffered painfully with many surgeries and an art journal is what got me to painting and creating. So this is a part I did for my girlfriend and if I'm going to save you the pain I went through, glue down the words onto the booklet and then sew it. Um, I did not, so it kept moving and I was struggling and my thumb was hurting from trying to push the needle through two layers of papers. Look at that. <laughs> and then there's a little box right in the back. That's my book binding box. And there is a little thumb cushion thing that I finally stopped and go, there's got to be an easier way for this. But I finally did grab that little thumb cushion. You'll see me grab that. But I didn't think of gluing down the phrases until the last one. So I will save you. Glue it down first, and then you can use a sewing machine or hand stitching what I'm doing. And then I also decided to let the strands of thread hang. I did tie knots on them, but I wanted them to hang to just another layer of texture because that's what my girlfriend loves. Um, she does fiber art, so I wanted something that can just change. And here you, you can see it's not complete yet, so I just took pictures. You didn't need to see me suffer. <laughs> and there's the back or the inside of the cover. Um, so I hope you keep going. I hope you enjoy this process and give it a whirl. Um, try a journal cover and God bless. And thanks for being a part of this uh, journey with me.